Hello everyone, Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm going to review the Momentum Voya E Plus 2022 model. I want to acknowledge Ivanhoe Cycles for letting me use one of their e-bikes for review today. Okay, so I want to test out the weight of this uh, Voya E Plus 2022 model. So kilograms, uh, let's do the lifting. Fifteen point four. In terms of operating the controller, just a basic basic controller. Uh, just press the power button. Straight away, you're gonna have the battery capacity left. In this case, only 25 or somewhere between five and 25 percent left. I'm not exactly sure what could be, unfortunately. But straight away, the controller is gonna set the assistant in, assistance into smart assist mode which means that the bike sensors uh, are gonna be detecting the terrain inclination so for the motor and the battery but especially the motor to provide the assistance that you need uh, once you press again the power button then you're gonna have the medium assistance activated then you will go to the maximum assistance which is a red light, no assistance, and then green color, which is the lowest assistance. Again, if you keep pressing it, it's gonna give you medium, high, none, and again to echo or the lowest assistant mode, assistance mode. If you want to select the smart assist mode again, you might need to turn it off by pressing it three seconds blinks and then you have to activate it again so it'll go into smart assist mode right now I'm going on uphill testing the smart assist embedded in this model and it feels so gentle I don't hear I don't feel any difficulty in my pedaling level and yeah it just provides what i need based on my inclination sorry based on the terrain inclination which is that the purpose of the system so right now i am going to test it with the most the lowest gear which is echo let's see how it goes with uh, a shift number four incline straight away the motor kicked in which is great if i'm starting from zero and i need that power it's 
especially when I'm going uphill it makes it easy for my pedaling efforts so I really like this uh, especially if I compare it to the uh, Momentum Transcend e plus where the pedal assist one was just very slow in terms of responsiveness but this one is straight away kicking in okay testing out pedal assist 3 with the same gear on for going on incline let's see how the motor responds right okay so if it, I feel like it's a little bit similar to number one um, just the motor kicking in straight away as well my pedaling ports are of course lower than the one than the one I have to do with pedal assist one yet it, pro it provides the power required to go on this incline and now testing out the most powerful assistant in this model number three uphill same gear system well okay so yeah again motor kicking in straight away and surely I'm not doing much of the pedal efforts in this case I'm cruising basically going up not putting too much pressure again also in terms of stability it feels a little bit rattly uh, in certain moments I believe might be the tires are a little bit thinner uh, for my liking um, but the overall weight of the bike is not too high to say like we need to have thicker tires but yeah it would have been it would have been nice to have a set of thicker tires to provide that is the extra comfort especially on bumpy terrains in terms of comfort um, it's not that super impressive if I compare it to other models as from the same brand say the Transcend E Plus which has thicker tires and I can tell in this model the little bumps that I'm taking I can feel a little bit more on my body yet it's not too bad so my final thoughts about this Momentum Voya E Plus I believe it is a good model for people looking for something minimalist low budget having some power assistance that is gentle on the hills I believe this model and this small motor has the capacity to offer that for users in, a, in hilly areas and also that want to commute not too far anything within 100k uh, in terms of comfort I think it offers minimal minimal comfort no front suspension of course um, but yet yeah, the saddle the saddle is comfortable enough for my liking also the grips uh, different design out of the usual shape rounded but these are square so improve the actual grip one thing that maybe I felt like might need to be looked after is the stability of it I felt like at some moments it was a little bit wobbly maybe contributed to the actual size of the with the tires which is which are thin to my liking um, but overall it's very easy to operate the controller is intuitive at the start might be not but it is it is intuitive um, but yeah if I compare it to other models uh, from the same range <coughs> price tag I may want to go to this but if I have a little bit extra money I may go for another model or maybe another brand if I want something minimalist so yeah if you believe that you like this line from Momentum then I suggest go to check it out in one of the local bike shops near your area or maybe if you don't find it you can go and visit the bike store where I sourced this electric bike